Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the USO, the UUP, the GLD, the TLT, and the GDXJ. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like the videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the right-hand bottom corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, guys, daily chart, 38 million. 2.81% down or 27 cents red. We talked about this uh, chopping around, slightly bullish panner. We're still on these uh, overall bearish, slightly small term bullish pattern. We popped up, wanted to see follow through. We actually got it, then a complete reversal, almost engulfed this whole thing. Then today a nice little gap down and a nice follow through day to the downside. We have a gap fill. Eh, I would have to do the math. No, that might not is. But this one here, definitely a gap fill. Got the lower pivot with the window. So if we continue down on Monday, Tuesday, going into Wednesday's news, um, let's see what this thing holds. As long as we hold this trend line, it should do okay and possibly higher. Again, we are waiting for this area right in here. If it it's there, great. If it doesn't, it's going to go down without us. Again, Yellen doesn't need higher oil prices in her little experiment bottom line so let's see what it gives us do we go sideways do we come right back up or do we gap low and keep going guys so this was a great uh, little slack in here 2.881 percent let's see if we continue lower in uh, next week's uh, action let's go to the weekly chart since it's a weekly close guys weekly still doing okay um, if you're short <clears throat> still below all these trend lines or still below all the uh, moving averages we're still see how it came into the 5-0 retrace and look down sideways this is still slightly bearish below the ma's in a weak stance they held this uh, down sloping trend line here right this was like they say they got to save it right here it's going to start going down if it does start to slide or continue chopping around another week or two this will be setting up for lower prices period 866 double bottom then you're looking at 850 825 eight bucks and then eventually the 772 area but i think it is the um i'm going to put it a little bit more accurate i think it's right around 765 was double bottom and that goes back to the all-time low right here i think it, let's move it up a little bit 766 i think it was so check it out comes in comes in. We, we shorted here we shorted there we shorted we even took the seo on some of these trades that just ripped i wish we would have caught this one because man that seo just ripped heads off but again down sideways bearish pattern below the ma's let's see what uh, happens in the uh following week close if we close down in here next week around the nine dollar it better hold that nine dollar level we close in the eights uh, then I, I continue chop and then i still think we're setting up unless some something happens globally or yelling needs higher prices or whatever but i'm still thinking lower prices guys she keeps raising rates she's going to need that consumer to get out and spend oil prices will be going lower at the pump all right let's go to the uup uup that's the other one guys we've been calling this one pretty good i've been waiting waiting real patiently to go long in the dollar guys not yet though so we come in retrace come in barely a retrace to this uh, trend line comes in tries it again another weak retrace comes in tries it again another one and boom right to the first level that we've had in there for a while which is gap fill pivot low 2432 I still think we're getting the 24 bucks and this point guys we might even go lower I, I'm gonna have to really look at this thing try to find some new levels here great pivot here at 2397 other one is 2413. If those don't hold, 24 is coming into play, then the next level's down here. I might get interest on 24. I want to see this thing just fall right into it and then get an I mean, this thing's starting to get oversold a little bit and then we'll get the bounce. So if you are short, tighten that stop. You're starting to hit some big support levels down in here. You hit 24, you better be mostly out of your position. Maybe a quarter. If it continues lower, ride that quarter position, maybe to 23. 50 then 23 bucks there's some areas down there but right now it's still early to tell we are below the ma's weak stance starting to fall let's see where we go from here let's go to the weekly chart weekly chart and this is why i like 24 guys 24.18 is the uh, 200 ma and then the 24 dollars if this area breaks this is great support but remember it's the weekly chart it could overshoot and come down into this area i love this pivot here 2328 and I also like this one here at 23 bucks. So, and if it really starts to go guys, here's your next area, gap fills. I mean, this area is at 2244. So, maybe here for a short-term bounce. Maybe a call position, just a short one, get a two or three day bounce and get the hell out. But right now guys, below the MAs Still above the 200, but if this one cracks and goes, we're going downtown on a dollar. And I guarantee you, remember dollar down, oil up. Oil's going to be following this thing down to the basement. Again, Yellen 
and her experiment. Just think about that. All right, let's get into the uh, GLD. GLD, guys, this is another one we talk. If you watch my videos, you know what I'm saying. Talk about resist. You don't want to deal with resistance, trend line resistance, gap it up. What they what they do here? Gap it up. Then they held it. They don't want to deal with the 50 MA and then the 750 resistance. Gap it up. <laughs> and they did it again twice. So we took a short term trade down here. Unfortunately, we covered uh, we covered at 118. So we took or we sold. I'm so used to short, and so we sold. It was a two dollar gain. I'll take it. But we're still in half of our swing trade when it was coming down. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go in a little bit on a on a GLD trade for a short term, try to get a couple bucks, and boom, we did. Gosh, one more day, I would have got another buck. But you know what? $2, I'm getting killed on a couple of other uh, short term trades. So at this point, I got to take the money and run and uh, see you next time, basically. But this is exactly what we're looking for, guys. We're back above the MAs, strong stance. If you're in this gold position with me, you know, from the 11050, 11060 area, um, God bless you. Let's hold on. I think we could get right back up here. Still think we could shoot up into the 130 area, 131, which is double top. We'll show you on the weekly. Weekly chart too, guys. And we talked about this. So everyone was kind of, ah, oh, look at that. We closed above. Unbelievable. I, I didn't look at this one yet. So we filled the gap and got above. This is exactly what we're looking for. It doesn't mean it won't click over and go all the way back down. But as a bull, you know, you get this great move up. Everyone joins the party here. You know, so, oh my God. Then CNBC starts talking about gold. Holy cow. Comes right back in. Goes right back up. CNBC starts talking about it again. Everyone loads the house. They shook everybody out here. Now remember, on the daily chart, when this thing went down right here, we're like, oh my gosh, all right, it broke the trend line. That was a huge one. It was like, ah, but we held this area here, the 5.0 in this trend line, and it never really got under. And then when we started popping a little bit, it was like, all right, but the bottom line, we said, hey, we're going to follow the weekly close and the weekly confirmation. Never confirmed. We were talking, all right, the weekly comes through and breaks through this level. We got it. We got it. Our short term trade's done. Long term, I'll still hold on, but if it continues lower, my long term trade, we covered, we took off half here. I will buy more down in here and try to ride this thing up. Guess what we got, guys? Complete reversal. So all the week, uh, Week longs just stopped out here. Oh my gosh, it's going lower. Us, no way. Reversal, engulfed. We said, huts, hold on. Let's see next week if we can get above these MAs. Look what it did, guys. Perfect. Doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. Now we're waiting for pattern. We're waiting for more follow through. Guys, if you're long gold, hold on tight. This thing can start ripping heads off. So we're going into big earnings next week, too. If they're bad, this thing's going to fly, guys. So hold on. But if it comes back and reverses and starts heading down, we might have to get out of the uh, swing trade. Like I said, we took a short term trade. We're already out for two bucks and some change right around that area. Great close for the bulls here above the MAs. Now we just got to see some follow through with a close. I would love to see a close around 120 and above, and that would possibly solidify uh, a next move up on this one to the height here. If we get above the 123, 29, then we're taking off to the 130. One, actually, we'll go to 125 first. I'm not gonna, well, actually, right here. Yeah, that's 125.53, and then we'll take it from there. But way to go, guys, if you held on with me. Got to see more than one, just one week down. I want to see follow through or a big reversal like we did, and that was beautiful. You couldn't ask for anything else. The TLT, guys, let's see what this one did today. And then keep an eye on this one again. Look at that. So we had a great bearish pattern here below the MAs going, wow, this thing can actually go lower. And look at that pop. Pot. Look at that. Gap it up over resistance. Gap it up over resistance here. Look at that. They had a gap fill there. Didn't even get down to it. Filled it, but popped up. Another gap up, guys. Here's your next level right around the 126.43. You start getting above the 126.91 in this high pivot, you most likely go in the double top here. And it's going to start ripping heads off again. You know, this looked a little bit weak to me. We did get below the trend line. I was like, all right, let's see what this bearish pattern plays out. And once we started moving up, let's see what happens. Doesn't mean we go sideways and right back down. Right Right now we're waiting for pattern we did uh did we close above that top no it would have been nice to get above that and close up into this area and even get above this little candle here almost did but big resistance at the window here just touched it and right back down so if you're long the tlt hold on tight and uh tighten that stop if you're short from this pattern here you know, we talked about this thing getting back above the MAs. Now it's in a strong bullish pattern, but still down and sideways, slightly weak. But if it starts moving up past this uh, 750 retrace filling gaps, if you are short this one, just, just tighten it and possibly, you know, I, I wouldn't say stop out yet. Let's see what, what kind of pattern develops here. So just hold tight. You are still slightly bullish above the MAs here, but uh, let's see what we're doing on the weekly. Weekly chart. You know, this is going to tell us more, guys. So on the weekly, we can't yeah, see. We 
gosh, we, we reversed there. We got above the MAs. Wow. <sighs> yeah, if you're short, uh, hold tight. If you start moving up higher, you might have to just get the hell out of this thing. If you break this top here at 128, you're going to 130, 132. Then this level in here somewhere, 133. And ultimately, gosh, you, you, you could, 143. I mean, one step at a time here, guys. Let's take a bigger fib from the low to the high. I just want to see what resistance is coming up on here as well. 618 is going to be a big area. 136. Um, I don't know. That's Okay, that's the bigger one there. So you have the 382. You're above the 250. Yeah, it's not bad. The one thing I'm looking at, though, we recaptured the 50 MA and the 20 MA, which held, got back above the trend line. The bulls might be in charge, guys, on the TLT. So watch for this one. Um, coming off a of pivot low, nice little reverse, and golf this, and fill the gap, and closed above. That's bullish. But now we got to wait for pattern or follow through. If we follow through and close somewhere up in here, we're most likely going to hit double top, maybe pattern, and then fl start flying. We still still in this channel, lower end, getting away from it. Be careful with this one again. Don't load the house. No more than 10% of your total portfolio. If you have 100 grand, no more than 10 grand. Keep it small, guys. Winner after winner after winner. If you have two losers, no big deal. Rack up five winners. Two losers, no big deal. Rack up seven winners. All the same trades, all the same uh, size positions. Some smaller, some bigger, but keep them under 10. And then, you know, just keep keep doing it. Keep trading, guys. I always tell I always preach that. Just keep trading. GDXJ. Haven't looked at this one yet today. I want to see. Gold was up pretty good. Yeah, it barely. Man, just not moving. So let's see if we could get it up move. Still good though. Up. We talked about getting above the trend line, getting above the 50 and the 20 MA. Now it's going sideways. A little bit up today. A nice little little gap up, but couldn't really hold. I mean, 18 cents, nothing special. But next week, let's see if we continue sideways. As long as we're staying above these MAs, still okay. If we start slipping below, we could fill the gap. We could come to pivot bottom. If we fill the gap, go to pivot bottom and starts kind of breaking down. If you're long from up in here, up in there, tighten that stop, guys. It could be a bumpy ride down to the 23 for, or 2743. This is where I will get interested around this area. Maybe 27 if it pierces it. But right now, guys, nothing wrong. Bullish slightly above the 50 and the 20 MA, still below the 200. You get above this 200 and above this trend line, it starts going. You better step aside on this one. So, you know, but you have still big areas of resistance here, resistance here where it started breaking down, and uh, you have the Fibonacci's as well coming into play 382, 618, and then the 750. So, one day at a time, guys. We got four or five days sideways. Let's see what it brings into, I would say, well, Janet Yellen speaking next week, too. So, into Wednesday, these can go up and down. Who knows? You know, she can make the dollar go down, dollar go up. Oil go down, oil go up, gold go flying. So beware of that. I believe the FOMC meeting's next uh, Wednesday. So keep an eye on that as well. Uh, let's go into the weekly. Weekly, same thing. Uh, trying to get back above the MAs, but holding the 200. So I, that's okay. But still, it's a little bit bearish down here. We need to get back above the trend line, back above the 20. And it would really be great if we get back above the 3703. I have no position in this one. I just have traders asking me to do videos. I am in the GLD, though, still. So that's one I am trying to ride higher, guys. I've been waiting patiently. Good thing I put that short-term trade, got the extra couple bucks. I hate when it pulls back and then it goes out up without me. And that's why we took the short term. But on this one, guys, I'm waiting for a low, little bit lower prices. If we get down there, if it doesn't, it's going to go up without me. Then we'll look for areas to short this thing. 43, up in here, 48, if it got there. Possibly here. We'll see how the markets are running. But uh, that's a little good a good area at 36, 37 bucks. That's why if this thing starts to go, tighten the stop. If it gets above there, that's where you want to stop out. If it gets above, then you put it to here, you know, the pivots, and just keep trailing it up. All right, guys, I really appreciate you coming stopping by checking my videos out it's awesome and uh, hopefully you have a great weekend god bless see you on the charts